Hey guys, this is as you all know Dark Shadows, and this is a tutorial for Adobe Photoshop. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining the basics of Photoshop. So this is for beginners to sort of medium people who just want to learn more about Photoshop. Okay, this is the basic interface of Adobe Photoshop CS2. It's just CS. CS3 is new, so it might look different, but don't be surprised because everything is basically the same. They wouldn't take anything out. Okay, so this is how it looks. Now, if you want to get started on a, uh, a document, you go to File, New, and just a window pops up. Um, if you want to make like a wallpaper, there's a preset amount of, um, of, uh, like, you know, different settings, presets ma already made for you. You got, you know, HDTV, you got just basic wallpaper sizes, and you have some widescreen ones. But for now, I'm going to be sticking to something I made. It's called the Spider-Man Forum Size, which is used for the signatures. Um, what this is going to be is that we're going to make the width 500 pixels and the height 175 pixels. By doing that, we're going to just click on the box where it says width and change it to 500 and uh, same for the height. Now you have to watch out because it might be already set as inches just change it to pixels. It'll save you definitely because if you get lost right here it's going to be hard later on. Okay so now to continue press OK. Now this is what it looks like. To maximize it you know just press the square in the middle and here we begin. The tools on the side. Okay this over here is just a selection toolbox. Next to that is the pointer where you can move images within the the document. Below that, uh, the main things you need to know: ah, the eraser, which is going to be erasing parts of the parts of your uh, image, the paint bucket tool, and the eyedropper tool. Now. If you're saying where are these things, I cannot find a picture of an eraser. That is because um, when you right-click on some of the things, there's alternate modes. Like for instance, for gr there's something called a gradient tool, and you, it's like a like a like a piece of paper with fading from black to white. You have to right-click that and press pr paint bucket tool to see the paint bucket. They hide it because there's different modes that have a similar effects and stuff, they just don't want to make more options to make it confusing. So, um, I recommend that just leave it on paint bucket now, don't switch it to gradient because then you'll forget and you don't know where it is. So, this is the basic interface of it. Now, let's go all the way to the right. Here we have the navigator, which just shows you the preview or outline. You can zoom in, zoom out. You don't have to. This is how you zoom in and out. And this just zooms all the way back in and out. Okay. What? Okay. Then, right below that is something called the layer menu. Right now, we have one layer and there's nothing in it. But you can create layer upon layer upon layer. Make the different shades of that layer. Make it seen or unseen. And that's just basically it. To create a new layer, we it's right at the bottom of the whole entire thing. It's uh, next to the trash can. And even if you highlight it, it says create new layer, just so you know. Okay. Now, let's just go over some other basic things. If you go to view, I recommend you go to actual pixels. This is going to show what it looks like when it's saved and ready to be put on a image hosting website. This is what it's going to look like. So you should always keep it on actual pixels. If you want to zoom in, you press view zoom in or you could go to control plus. This zooms it in and control minus zooms out. Just so you it's much easier after you go on. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting an image into my signature over here. Now I'm just going to take anything from Spider-Man 3. Where's a good picture? Uh, here. We have one of Spider-Man 
holding his suit. It doesn't really matter what it is. We're just going to know that it's going to be really big. This is a high quality image. Okay, so you see the image right here? It's Spider-Man holding a suit. Okay, now we have two things open. We have the original document and this image of Spider-Man. To get the image of Spider-Man into that other one, we just click, drag, and then highlight the other document. You're going to see a little arrow with a plus sign comes, just that's normal. Now unclick, and bam, it's in your document. Now you're going to say, what what part of the thing is this? I have no idea what's going on. That is because the quality of the image is so high that the and the pic, the the quality of this uh, pixels is so low that you're going to have to resize the original image so it fits the quality of the lower. Okay? You got that? Now, there's two ways to do this. You could go to Edit, Free Transform. Or you could just simply press Control T. I find Control T much easier. All right. Okay. This is how far we have to zoom out, just so we get an idea of the image. This is a really big image. Okay. There's two. There's one good way to do this and one bad way to do this. By okay. As you see, after you press it, press Control T, there's uh like uh, a dot on each corner. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press that corner and drag down right and you know how to move you just grab and drag as you notice as you see over here Spider-Man face is getting all messed up it's getting all like squishy and stuff that is because we forgot to do one thing we forgot to hold shift now holding shift is probably the most important rule ever it maintains the aspect ratio. So go ahead, hold down shift, and now drag it smaller. You'll see that every time you do it, it doesn't lose its aspect ratio. It keeps it keeps it the same. Okay. So this is a pretty good uh, thing. I could go a little smaller so we see more. Uh, that's right. That's good. Let's go a little smaller. Okay, this is good. You know, a little teeny weeny smaller. Perfect. Now, to save it as this new size, you just go on the top of the screen and press Commit Transform, which is a picture of a check. Another way to do this, I think, is to just press on that, and bam, it goes. Okay, so now this image is in your SIG. So th you learned how to get it in here and resize it. That's the main thing. But realize if you want to flip the image, you go to uh, mode, I mean image, rotate canvas, and then flip canvas horizontal. But watch out, if you have things on other layers, they're gonna, uh, it, everything is gonna flip, not just that image. So you better watch out because um, sometimes, you know, you want to only do one thing. So what you're gonna have to do is just go into the other image, the original image, flip it there, and then bring it over into this document and then resize it. Yeah, it's complicated. But once you get into this stuff, it's going to be really, really easy. Now, this is all I want to do in this tutorial, uh, because just so you get know, just so you know how to do this. Next time, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, put two images in one image, in one document, I mean. Um, uh, learn how to fade things out, and then some text, basic text effects, and all that stuff just to get you started. Okay, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy Photoshop now, now that you, since you know what you're doing, and I'll see you next time.